in Fiddler on the Roof is more than a century old, but a message that resonates today. Anti-Semitism has not gone away. Fiddler on the Roof is portrayed in the, I think, in the 1800s, and still today we're seeing anti-Semitism. The touring Broadway production stops in Edmonton this week. Heartbreaking as well, but... Cast members are getting a glimpse at how anti-Semitism impacts the city's Jewish community. My first impression, it was kind of striking to see so many, uh, so much sadness and so much... Um, Anger. The Shine a Light on Anti-Semitism mosaic was created in 2021. Each tile a community member adding how anti-Jewish hate impacts them. A resurgence of anti-Semitism is just devastating. We've always lived with anti-Semitism, but it's on the rise. It comes as reports of religious-based hate crimes are on the rise in Canada, with a large portion targeting the Jewish community. Winnipeg-born actor Elliot Lazar tells City News he felt safe with his Jewish identity for most of his childhood, but now... Unfortunately, in, in the last few years, I've been in locations and situations where I didn't feel that way. So it, it's disappointing, it's, um, it's frustrating, but it's also... Uh, it's also a challenge for us to rise to. Well, I think, I mean, Tevye, Tevye has a line uh, in, in the barn scene. Uh, what does he say? Our forefathers have been forced out of many, many places at a moment's notice. And then Tevye yeah. says, well, maybe that's why we always wear our hats, right? It's that idea of, like, we are, we're constantly on the move. We're constantly, it's like a cyclical pattern of a better time and then a little bit of a worse time. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look. Just hopeful that those who come to see this touring production in Edmonton take a moment to reflect on how anti-Semitism exists beyond 1905 Russia. It starts with teaching our children and then they teach their children. Um, and it's important to um, not just focus um, on the Holocaust, but anti-Semitism as a whole, how it can impact. The mosaic will continue to be set up in public spaces and taken to schools to continue the conversation. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.